The Equality Act 2010 is a cross-cutting legislative framework designed to protect the rights of individuals and advance equality of opportunity. The Equality Act applies to the whole of Great Britain, that is, England, Scotland and Wales. With a few exceptions, it does not form part of the law of Northern Ireland, which has its own separate provision. The Act extends protection against discrimination, harassment and victimisation in relation to the protected characteristics. So protected characteristics are defined groups of people within society that the Act is designed to cover. There are nine of them that are defined and I'll try and do them in alphabetical order. So there is age, disability, gender reassignment, marriage and civil partnership, pregnancy and maternity, race, religion or faith, and sex, and lastly sexual orientation. And the protection is not only for employees, but it's also for casual workers, apprentices, and even job applicants. I would also say as well that uh, irrespective of the size of an organisation that there shouldn't be an expectation that HR in particular, which is where people tend to go, should have answers to everything. The Equality Act is a very complex piece of legislation and as such there are going to be certain areas where specialist knowledge might be required. So I would recommend that if an organisation finds themselves in a situation that they can't answer internally, they should reach out to external specialists for some guidance. Employers also need to pay attention to the Equality and Human Rights Commission's statutory code. And what that is, is it's a code that's been put together that allows employers to interpret what the, the legislation says. The legislation can sometimes be fairly chunky and quite dense, even for, for, for lawyers to, to understand. I have read the code. It's fairly long, I won't lie to you. But it is full of useful examples of how the code applies. The Equality Act also introduced a public sector duty to ensure that public authorities are performing their duties under the Act in order to reduce socio-economic inequalities that result from differences in occupation, education, place of residence or social class. The public sector equality duty is a really important part of the Equality Act and this is where public organisations like local authorities for example or health authorities need to demonstrate that they're complying with the Act in three areas. So the first one is to ensure that they are protecting against illegal discrimination. The second is to ensure that they are advancing the equality between people who share a protected characteristic and people who don't when you compare the two groups and also to foster good relationships between people who share a protected characteristic and people who don't. Complying with the Equality Act is essential in order to implement good practice in all aspects of employment. This includes recruitment, pay, working hours, managing staff and developing policies. Discrimination protection starts with the recruitment process and applies throughout the life cycle of an employee and beyond. If organisations disregard the Equality Act and aren't seen to be embedding them in their own organisation, that can cause multiple problems, but the fundamental one that could happen is that they may lay themselves open to cases of discrimination and uh, employment tribunals. There is an increased risk that, because people don't necessarily know how to behave, that they might end up in a legal situation or a very complex disciplinary or grievance situation. And of course those things impact on things like the company reputation, uh, the productivity and the loyalty of, of the employees that work there and ultimately attrition.